of my head in that is. What's that? The second shot. That's not a shot that I normally hit and I'm always, I can't stop thinking about it already. So what do you reckon that does to your golf if you're kind of having that thought already? Oh, it's going to put me all over the shop, isn't it? My, um, my mindset is already quite negative moving on to the next tee, so I've got to try and get that out of my brain and think about maybe the tee shot, probably. Because uh, I don't really want to be hitting fat ones again. Um, so just as a... Let me just, yeah, let's walk up here a minute. <laughs> okay. So, like we said, you've done your last hole. Yeah. Okay, well, it's on your scorecard now. There's nothing we can do. Yep. So the only thing we can do now is... We're on a new set of tees, we're on a new hole. We've got a hole in front of us that we have to think about. We can't kind of just whack it up there and just yeah. see what's going on. So, so this, the, the usual play on a normal summer's day yep. is to carry the water and the bridge with a driver. So today the wind's into you, it's cold. Wow. So I'm happy to hit a three wood just past the gents down there if you can see them. Okay. And, and it's not running at all, is it? No, it's not. So, so winter golf and summer golf are two very different things, aren't they? Yeah, because even if it doesn't get held up in the wind, I know it's going to stop straight away. So have the, the boys are still there. So we've set up our ball. Where are the tees naturally aiming you or pointing you? Straight at the water. Straight at the water? <laughs> yeah. So pretty much most people don't realise that their tee, where the tees are pointing cause masses of problems. But this tee is aimed directly at that beautiful lake which we don't want to go in. so we are going to think about alignment um yeah I'm, I'm actually thinking i might change my club as well okay um just because the free would tend to get up a little bit too much so i'm probably gonna go too hard okay if you don't mind no let's do it right. so my hat just blew off You what, sorry, Ben? No, no, I think if you need to change your club, don't be... So we get this quite a lot and people go, oh, I wish I'd changed my club or I'd wish I'd done that. Hindsight's fab. If gut instinct tells you to change it... Yeah, I'm changing it. Change it. We've gone to two iron instead because the wind is really windy. Yeah, and I lost my hat. That's what the really loud squeal was. That was me. So I'm aiming for the bridge down there on the left hand side, hopefully for it to come down into the, the fairway on the right, um, but there's bunks on the right hand side as well, which again I don't feel that unconfident of hitting out of, so yeah. if I go in them it's not the end of the world. Yeah, so anything right is actually okay isn't it? Yeah. Really? It's just, yes, you might have a longer shot in, yeah. but it's safe. Yeah, absolutely. The fir tree is past them, yeah. and I've got a wedge in every day, but the wind well, if you hold up into that water, mm. you're, you're done in, aren't you? Well, this is, so like Ben was just saying, this is a par four, and it's actually probably, I think, one of the hardest par fours. 430, I think it is. It's ridiculous. Yeah, like and we've got water to go over and all that jazz. So I just don't think... I actually think, out of all the 27 holes, it's probably one of the toughest. Yeah. Because you have to, have to really think about it. Yeah. You have to think of your alignment, and that's it. Yeah, yeah. So, aiming at the bridge should fade a little bit more because of the uh, the wind as well so oh my god was that the just sheer fear factor of wondering where it went or was go where it was going i nearly let go of the golf club at the top of my swing that's what happened <laughs> Honestly, I nearly let go at the top, it nearly took was every I safe, teeth out. Was I safe here? No, you weren't, so I was clinging on for dear life on the way back down. <laughs> okay, so again, you're probably going to be like savage. There's yeah. not a lot we can do about that, so we have to just do, deal with it. Yeah. Okay. Let's get on with it. So this is delightful. So because it's winter rules, we can pick it up and clean it and put it anywhere six inches behind the hole, uh, behind the original position. So oh. we still have this to go over. Yeah. Now, there is sweet jack that we can do about the last shot that you've just played. Yeah. You just want to make sure that your next shot 
is as good as you can possibly do. So I'm not zapping the flag from here. I'm zapping oh. the bridge just to make sure I can get over the okay. over the. How far is it? It's 138 to the bridge. Into wind. Into wind. But I was just checking I can get that, uh, which I can. So I'm probably going to hit a four iron straight on the top of the bridge. That's okay. the aim. So hit a four iron over the bridge. Into wind as well. Yeah. This is probably going to finish up short. Being on down so it might help us out a bit. So when you're on a down slope, what's that likely to do to a ball flight? Go a bit lower. Go a bit lower. Okay. out my shoes or anything, just a nice smooth one to get us over. Perfect. Really nice swing, Ben. Did what you say you were going to do. Then just made it over. But it's, again, it's recovery, isn't it? It's making yeah. sure you don't have a bad shot followed by another bad shot. So we have finished here. This is the bridge that we were talking about going over. The wind is so strong um, and the ground is very wet, so we are not getting any run whatsoever. So Ben, how far we got? 153 to the flag. 153 to the flag. And all I'm thinking is trying to get it somewhere near the flag to give myself an opportunity again. Um, wind off the right. I'm actually going to get seven iron, I think. Okay. So that's quite standard wind on this hole off the right, isn't it? Yeah. But not normally as strong as this. Yeah, this is quite strong. So we are thinking, aiming at the flag, right half of the green. Uh, right, half, right over the top of the bunker, actually. Okay. I don't know if you can see the bunker. It's, um, it's probably about five or six feet right of the flag. Okay, so there is. We will see. Yes, we can see it now. There's the bunker. And gosh. And there's the white flag. Resistance. Okay. So 150, 7 iron. Okay, whenever you are. Right, right is not far, right is not bad, is it? No, right's not too bad. Right's better in play. So as you'll see here, there's so much more room right than there is left. So actually anything right is okay. Sorry, Ben, where did you say it was? <laughs> Down there somewhere. Do you want to have a look at that? Oh, I love winter golf. People ask why I don't play anymore. And this is, this makes me actually vomit in my... Mm. Mm. Okay, so we've, in your head you blocked it right. But actually, in the scheme of things, this side of the green is so much better than the yeah. other side of the green. I, was just, I think I felt like the wind was going to do a bit more for me. Yeah. And probably a bit of a, maybe a swing path issue rather than actually... Were you still worrying about the tee shot? Yeah. <laughs> and were you and still... the shot before the that shot. before. Okay, there's a running theme here. <laughs> so how do you see this shot? Well, it's sitting up in the rough because I've teed it up a little bit. Yeah. So, I'm so what's that going to do to the flight of the ball? It's going to go higher. Okay. But, um, what I'm going to try and do is play it off my back foot a little bit more. Okay. Normal shot. Yeah. Oh, I say normal shot. The shot like I chipped it on last time, but I know it's going to go higher, so it should stop a bit quicker. Okay. That's the plan. Because there's not a lot of room to work with there again. That's why I've also improved my short game. Yeah. Chipping and that, I feel so much more confident than I ever have. So. And what's that? How have we? How's that all happened? Just by playing um, a bit more. Practicing, actually taking note on what I'm doing rather than just standing over it and going for it. So if I'm trying to hit a low one, I try and do the same process every time. 
trying to hit high while I'm trying to do the same process every time there again. That definitely looks more of a repeatable movement now. Yeah. And I think that that looks, that's what I think with yours is the clarity of it all. When you're not clear, so you chuntering still on that tee about your chip shot or your pitch shot, you're not clear of the job in hand so you're not going to achieve what we want to but yeah. there you kind of had it really clear in your head what you wanted to do and the outcome was better absolutely so I'll say fan, it kind of kicked off this bank even though you probably you can't see it i don't know if that i don't mean that was it but kicked a bit more brutally so we've now got a 12 footer yeah probably left to right yes down the hill. yep downhill doesn't really matter at the moment it does no it's so wet yeah it's so wet and the greens aren't um they obviously haven't cut them today no so it's a bit fluffier but again quick look get comfy line up my putter with the uh wherever i'm aiming and give it a go hello sailor <laughs> so just a quickie so we've no offence, duffed it off the tee. Yeah, duffed it, proper. Um, second shot, it was so windy, didn't yeah, expect that to happen. got hold of it, not as what I wanted, but it still got over the bridge like I planned. So you've walked off with a what? Five. Okay. On one Back of the to back bogeys, which is doing my head in already. But I know Emma's going to tell me off for that I now. am going to slap him, not on camera actually, obviously. <laughs> well, I'm prettier, aren't I? So. You're prettier. <laughs> um, so Ben just made a really interesting comment about your tee shot on the last. Yeah. Okay, so we're, we're still chuntering on about this pitch shot that he hit five <laughs> days ago. Um, so on the tee, you chose a three wood yeah. because a drive would have gone too far. Yeah. We got up to the tee and it was so, it was like blowing a hoolie. So what was interesting is the instant reaction was like, can I change it to a two iron? Asking if it was okay with yeah. me. <laughs> yeah. And that you're like, is that okay? Whereas that's you not being 100% clear you should just change confident it what's confident going on, why yeah. and, I, and I without doubt I do think that was the right club but in your head there was still this something wasn't quite yeah. as clear as absolutely some of the other I didn't feel comfortable over that shot so if you take the tee shot on the second yeah I was comfortable I knew yeah. what was going on whereas on the third then well the duff tee shot yeah I was thinking a million things before it even hit a ball but we've walked off with a duff tee shot probably one of the weirdest yeah. shots I've seen you hit in a while and we still walked off with a bogey yeah um so he's hit it's a positive yeah which I know he's not a fan of because we keep talking about this but it's <laughs> <laughs> he went mm. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so we will keep punching in the face with this Ben yeah mindset's probably my biggest problem by the sounds of things isn't it not really <laughs> it is. 